Hello everyone, my name is Serafi and I'm happy to meet you all. And today we're playing Chemic Critters. Chemic Critters is another deck that was requested by someone on stream for me to play. And I've never even seen or heard of this deck before, but I gave it my best shot and I have built a deck that I think will function at least somewhat reasonably at King of Games. The skill is called Double Normal Summon, and what it does is, after your life points decrease by 1500, you can Normal Summon one normal monster in addition to your normal summoner set. So, your Gemini monsters are not considered normal monsters in your hand, but they are considered normal monsters on the field. So this will allow you to potentially get some good normal summons uh, of a monster that you've already summoned, which could potentially allow you to trigger a, an important monster effect such as the Ox. For the main deck, we have Polychemicritter Dioxaber. Now, if you don't know how Gemini monsters work, they are treated as normal monsters while they are on the field and in the graveyard. When this card is a normal monster on the field, you can normal summon it again to have it become an effect monster with an additional effect. It doesn't matter how the monster got on the field. If you normal summoned it once, you have to wait one turn to normal summon it again. If you revived it from the graveyard, you can still normal summon it after it's been special summoned. You have to spend an additional normal summon to get the ability. And the abilities are fairly powerful, except for one of them, but these abilities are kind of not the main point of the deck. So, we have Polychemy Critter Dioxogre. Uh, this card is a Dark Fiend monster. It's got 2800 attack points, 200 defense points, and it's level 8. If you get the effect, it is the normal summon of Gemini monsters cannot be negated. And once per turn, you can banish one Gemini monster from your graveyard to target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Both those effects are alright, but really we want to get a different monster on the field for these plays, so Dox Ogre is more of like the target for our trap cards than the monster we want to be normal summoning. For our normal summon, we want Chemi Critter Oxyox. This monster is level 2, it has 0 attack points and 2100 defense points, it's a wind beast, and if you get its effect, then during your main phase, you can special summon one Gemini monster from your hand, and if you do, all Gemini monsters you currently control become that monster's original level until the end of the turn. Hard ones per turn on this effect. So, you have Oxyox, you have your two level 8s, you normal summon Oxyox, you normal summon Oxyox again, then Oxyox special summons one of your level 8s, it turns itself to level 8, and then you can exceed summon into a rank 8. So that's the goal of the deck, that's kind of how the deck plays, and Oxyox is the key card in it. The last monster we are playing is Polychemic Critter Hydragon. This is a dragon water monster with 200 attack points and 2800 defense points. Its effects are when another Gemini monster is normal summoned, you can make that monster gain 500 attack and defense points, and if Gemini monsters you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy one other card you control instead. Both of these effects are terrible, this card is not good, but it is a level 8 and we want it on the field just so we can exceed with it. For our spells and traps, we are playing one copy of Terraforming. We need the field spell as much as possible, so a fourth card is good enough. Playing one copy of Dark Hole because our ability to respond to a wide board is very limited, so hopefully we can at least get some good plays going second through some amount of disruption by playing Dark Hole. For the field spell, we have Catalyst Field. Each turn, one level 5 or higher Gemini monster you normal summon can be summoned without tributing. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Gemini monster in addition to your normal summoner set, but you can only gain this effect once per turn. And then once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish one Gemini monster you control that is treated as an effect monster and has gained its effects until your opponent's end phase, and if you do, destroy that card. The second effect is kind of like a really last ditch ace in the hole, please don't kill me effort. What we really want is we really want to have our Oxyox normal summon it twice and then go into the rank 8 like I explained. The ability of Catalyst Field to normal summon your level 8s without tributing is also very nice. That does give you some options. Uh, without Catalyst Field we really couldn't justify running all these level 8s. So the ability to at least play the cards if we don't have any sort of combo to make with them will allow us to get some breathing room and uh, use our trap cards. Uh, it is important to note that you can only normal summon these monsters, though. You can't set them, which means the High Dragon with its 200 attack points will be quite vulnerable. We're playing three copies of Crackdown. This will just keep us alive for as long as possible. And lastly, Burnout. This is a trap card. Banish one face-up Chemic Critter monster you control. Special summon it two Chemic Critter monsters from your deck 
with different names from each other. When your opponent declares a direct attack except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one of your other banished Gemini monsters, special summon it, and if you do, it becomes an effect monster and gains its effects. You can only activate one burnout per turn. So, you can trade one of your levels, twos or eights, for two level eights. This will allow you to set up an Xyz summon regardless of your hand, as long as you have at least one monster and this card. That's very good. Special summoning two monsters with the same level from the deck is obviously very strong. Both these monsters have 2800 attack and defense points. That can be difficult for an opponent to get through during the battle phase. So this card will allow you to sometimes survive, especially the second effect, which allows you to bring out a monster from your banish zone in response to a direct attack. Great. For the extra deck, we are playing the basic rank 8 package, Dengirsu Orcus of the Evening Star, two level 8s. We are playing the Galaxy Eyes package, make the Cypher Dragon first, go into the Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon, and then end on Cypher Blade Dragon for two pops and a resurrect from the graveyard. If your blade gets destroyed, you can bring back the Cypher Dragon. Additionally, Cypher Dragon has a unique benefit of if your opponent is playing an Xyz monster, you can take the Xyz monster first and then use that monster to rank into the Full Armor Photon Dragon so that you can kind of remove a threat while also keeping the materials on the field. Very nice. Number 68, Santa Fe on the Sky Prison. This needs no introductions, it's on my channel. Uh, good card, uh, helps you beat live twins. And then the last card is a card you guys probably haven't seen before. It's called Vola Chemicritter Meth Draco, and it requires two level 8 Gemini monsters. It's a Fire Beast Warrior with 3,000 attack points and 3,000 defense points. When this card is Xyz summoned, you can target one Gemini monster in your graveyard and special summon it. That will usually be your Dioxogre. While this card has Xyz material, monsters your opponent controls cannot target Gemini monsters you control for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target Gemini monsters you control for card effects. When a Gemini monster is normal summon, you can attach one Xyz material from this card, make your opponent send one card from their hand or their field to the graveyard. Their choice. Okay, so this is a nice effect. It works very well with the field spell to get you some additional normal summons. Uh, you can use up all the materials without worrying about it. If you summon this card, then it brings back a 2800 attack point beater, so that can get you some pretty fast lethals. And, uh, yeah. So let's take a look at the replay. Okay, so we are going first against Utopia, and we don't have the standard starting hand. Instead, we have the Dock Sover, we have the Catalyst field, and we have two copies of Burnout. So we're going to activate the field spell to allow us to normal summon. Normal summon our Dock Sover without tributing. Then normal summon it again. So we can, the game calls it Gemini Summon. We Gemini Summon the Dioxover with the second normal summon so that it has its effects. Then we set two cards face down and we pass to our opponent. Our opponent activates Order of Chaos. Then they return two cards from the hand to the deck so that they get an additional normal summon. Uh, and then they special summon Tenny Spirit Mapura and Tenny Spirit Shathana and Xyz Summon into number 39 Utopia. Activate the skill, set the Baryon's Force, and Xyz summon into Leo Utopia Ray. Leo Utopia Ray's effect, detach one material to equip the Zexa Weapon Tornado Bringer. That gives the monster 1300 extra attack points. It gives the monster the ability to target and negate a monster's effects permanently, and it makes the monster untargetable. Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray's effect, reduce Dioxogre's attack points by half and negate its effects, and then attack into our monster. We will respond to this by activating Burnout. We will banish our Dioxogre to special summon it Dioxogre and Hydragon from the deck. Opponent destroys our second Dioxogre and it's our turn. We draw and we summon the... We have the Chemi Critter Oxy Ox in our hand. But the first thing is first, we are going to get our extra normal summon of a Gemini monster to summon the Chemi Critter Hydragon. Now we can activate the effect of Catalyst Field. So we can target one card our opponent controls, banish a Gemini monster we control that's treated as an effect monster, and destroy that card. So we banish our Hydragon, we destroy the Tornado Breaker. Now our opponent's negate effect is not active, and the opponent can be targeted. Normal summon the Oxyox with our normal normal summon, and then we activate Burnout again, bring out two level 8s, and exceeds them into Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. Then we rank Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon up into... Full Armor, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon. Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor, Photon Dragon. Detach one material, destroy one face-up card on the field. 
Leo Utopia Ray is destroyed, and we attack for 4,000, and that's game. And there you go. Simple, straightforward, rank 8 Gemini plays using a field spell and the ability to special summon multiple monsters from the deck. It's a clean, crisp game, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Serafi, and I was thrilled to have all of you with me.